This video is made for adult collectors because it's Unicron and he literally eats entire planets. Unicron is always the biggest of boys, and man do I want to get the HasLab one someday, but yeah, that's not happening. This though, pretty worthy figure to have instead of that, and let me just say, almost any toy looks better in black. Nemesis Prime, Burnout, Sound Blaster, Scrawl, who isn't a black repaint, but he's just cool enough to be in this segment because Bionicle. And it sure worked on Unicron here, this dude is a menace. The planet mode is great, mostly. It's flat, and there's no way to stand it upright. There are some stands you can buy for this, but it would have been nice if there was a way to get this guy upright and, oh, okay, if you put him on the edge of a desk, actually, he stands upright. Never mind. I do really like the way they did the deco on this. The green works very nicely with that smoky clear black. Same sort of color as the Fallen. Kind of makes him feel like a herald to this dude. This mode is gappy though, and this is one of the very few instances where the gaps actually do bug me, especially the one down here. Kind of wish there was some sort of panel to cover that up. Like just that little bit there, eh, but oh well. This planet mode is coated in minicon ports. There's so many on the wings, two on the sides and one in the middle that really only fits dead end. He also has chompers too, so that's neat. I actually like how this works and still transforms. Like that's just cool. Planet mode is big too like very big and heavy. I will say the wings on mine have trouble staying together, which can get annoying and trying to get the shells on planet modes like not fall off during transformation can be a pain. His minicon is a ball with a cannon that rotates and honestly dead end is a fun little minicon. His transformation is easy and satisfying, but nothing pegs in in planet mode. So it can be a bit frustrating. The robot is a small round boy. However, he does have ankle tilts. So 10 out of 10 for that. Transformation on Unicron is a mess, kinda? So the legs and arms are easy, but the shell bits and the wings make things... Uh, I don't like it. Especially when the panels like to just fall off. Getting the black hand out of, on my copy is really annoying too because his index finger doesn't go down all the way, so it gets stuck. And when I try to flip it open, it, it gets caught a lot. At one point, it would not come out. I had to like take the fist apart or the whole arm apart to just flip the hand out because it got stuck. And that's... Only on my copy, but that is really annoying. Robot looks impressive. The sheer size and amount of orange, like it's a lot of orange that gets revealed. And I like how it's all hidden away in planet mode. It leaves a nice little surprise for us. And the orange looks great. Head looks awesome too. Love the big purple M on the top and the beard. His head shape is great too, but I will say it being in black, that makes the head look like it's got a big mullet. I don't know. It's just something that I noticed. If you look at it dead on, it looks like he's got like a mullet, but like around his entire head. <laughs> Big problem though is his ankles. Mine and my friend's copies both have really loose ankle ratchets and he likes to fall over a lot. Definitely did not have this guy accidentally fall on my Studio Series Fallen the other day while I was writing this. The surface detailing on display though is great. Lots of nice sculpted lines and the green energon damage stuff is asymmetrical and neat. I love when they do asymmetry properly. It just works. He has lights. His eyes light up when you press a button on his head, which is Pretty cool, they blink for a bit. His hand lights up when you press on it. That's actually a cool feature. I wish there was something he could hold that the light lit up to actually make that more of a function other than just, oh look, glowing hand. And the cannon. The chest cannon is my absolute favorite part about this toy. You plug the minicon into the back and you hear the clockwork sound as he fires a claw in your face at Mach fucking 10. He now also has two rotating minicon pegs on his shoulders. Don't know why they spin, but they spin. And the ones on the legs fire missiles when you push them forward. But just make sure you click it all the way back in before you put the missiles in. Because if you don't hear that click, the last missile will not go into its place. You can also open his belly and place a minicon in there because he eats things. My little door likes to just pop right off its hinge when I pull on it. So 
yeah, just throw a minicon in there. The shells are removable, and that's intentional, so you can make him look a lot nicer. However, I don't like how the wings are placed. They flop around a lot. They don't stay in the proper orientation, which bothers me. And it also weighs them down a lot at those ankles, which are loose and not great. I would have chalked the ankle problem down to this being used, because mine was used. But my friend's version was mint in box when he bought it, and he opened it up and had the exact same issues. So I'm just going to go with age. He's old, so he's broken. <laughs> His articulation is actually a lot for his time. Let me show you. Well, this is going to be a pain in the ass to try and record. So, for a toy from 2000 and what? Three, four? Whenever Armada came out. He's quite pose- um, I'm hitting my light. He's quite posable. Um, it, it, uh, I really don't like those ankles. First of all, you got the head, which does rotate. And that's not a ratchet, by the way. That's these little springy metal bits scratching up the top here so i would be careful with that they're there because they hit two contact pads that allow the come on that allow the eyes to light up when the chest thing explodes so that's pretty cool but it does it doesn't sound the best shoulders can rotate the shoulder pads can move out a little bit to allow for the arm to very nicely ratchet in and out you got thigh thigh yeah, that's where the thigh is. You got bicep rotation, elbow bend. There goes one of the ankles. Yeah. Really nice ratchet there. Wrist rotation as well as individually articulated fingers. So he can do the funny thing. Let me just let him do the funny thing. There you go. He can do the funny thing. Waist rotates as well. Hip skirts can move out of the way to let the legs go forward and back and in and out. Oh, that one's really tight. Now, let's just move down. Oh, I can sit down now. Thigh rotation. He doesn't have any. There's not like there's no room for it. They really easily could have just put it there, but they didn't. They, they elected to go for below the knee and I hate below the knee swivels because it looks stupid. And then when you bend the knee, oh, it just, you can't, you're limiting yourself if you pick that sort of joint. And why would you, if you have the space to cut a thigh rotation? I don't understand. Anyways, you saw the knee bend as well, but yeah, this is ratcheted. Ah, and that, these things get in the way so much. Then you have forward, back, uh, not strong enough. Then you have an ankle tilt and then a toe tilt. So you can get like a really deep sort of faux range of motion there at the uh, foot if you want. Oh, I actually pinched my thumb there. But yeah, uh, some weird ass decisions. Like he's leaning forward as you can see because of the stupid ankles. Like, oh, he's cool and I love having it. It's aged okay, but it's still large and imposing on a shelf as he should be. And I love having this next to my Primus. Kind of makes me want to get the Last Night Primus because their colors kind of match a lot more. I do recommend it, but I wouldn't pay more than like 150 Canadian for one and make sure it's complete. A lot of them I see on eBay are missing the shells, the wings, the Minicon, the missiles. You basically need everything to fully enjoy this toy. So I would highly recommend this one being a complete toy that you look for. And yeah, 150 bucks Canadian max for a used one is what I would say is worth it. But that's been my look at Energon Unicron. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.